Another world-class super project is here. Recently, important progress has been made in the construction of the Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge in China, the world's largest suspension bridge under construction. The first section of the upstream and downstream main tower columns of the south main tower of the South Channel Bridge has been accurately installed, marking that the south main tower has entered a new stage of jointing and growing taller. The Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge connects Suzhou, Taizhou, and Nantung in Jiangsu Province, China. The total length of the line is 30 kilometers, and the total length of the cross river section is 7,859 meters. The Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge is the world's longest span bridge under construction. It has six world firsts in span, cable tower height, and anchorage volume. It is a world-class super project. In this video, let us learn more about it. The Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge's Southern Channel Bridge spans the main river, achieving a breakthrough in China's bridge construction from a 1,000-meter span to a 2,000-meter span. It is the first landmark bridge in China to break through the 2,000-meter span. Worldwide, after bridge construction exceeds 2,000 meters, many technologies, standards and specifications are no longer available for reference. We have now actually entered the no man's land of bridge construction. Chinese experts said. According to reports, the Zhang Jingao Yangtze River Bridge has six best in the world items. It is the world's largest span bridge, the world's tallest cable tower, the world's longest high-strength main cable, the world's largest ground wall anchorage foundation, the world's longest continuous length steel box girder, and the world's largest displacement telescopic device. At the same time, the bridge also has six world firsts in its design. The first self-balancing structural system for the main cable of a super-long span suspension bridge. The first ultra-high steel box steel tube confined concrete composite cable tower. The first ultra-large scale support to structure composite floor to wall anchorage foundation. The first hot rolled L-rib diaphragm continuous orthotropic steel bridge deck system. The first full bridge integrated intelligent anti-corrosion system. The first intelligent sensing replaceable anchor system. Behind every world's best and a world's first is a new challenge for design and construction. At the same time, the hydrological conditions of the Yangtze River under the bridge have increased the uncertainty of bridge construction. There is a 12.5 meter deep water channel in the lower reaches of the Yangtze River. Under the combined action of water flow dynamics and sedimentation, the amplitude of swings over the years is approximately 1,890 meters. How the bridge span layout design covers the swing range of the 12.5 meter deep trough over the years and ensures that the construction of the bridge does not have a major impact on the busy Yangtze River shipping needs to be fully considered during planning and design. The South Tower is not in a deep water area. How to overcome the possible extreme weather of flood season and dry season and the impact of river sedimentation on foundation construction need to be carefully considered before construction is organized. As one of the first of its kind, the ultra-high cable tower is a landmark project of the South Channel Bridge of the Zhang Jingao Yangtze River Bridge. As a world-class bridge, the Zhang Jingao Yangtze River Bridge has extremely strict requirements for precision control. The 350-meter high main tower has a vertical deviation of no more than 87 millimeters which is equivalent to the distance of only one fist. The main tower is composed of 30 segments, which requires the vertical deviation of each segment to be controlled within 2 millimeters, 
which is equivalent to the height of a four-story building. The allowable deviation is only about the size of a mung bean. It is understood that the first section of the south tower needs to be tightly anchored to the concrete tower base through anchor rods, which is the most critical stress point of the main tower. The positioning accuracy of the first segment is crucial to the installation control of subsequent segments. Therefore, the accuracy of anchor installation and steel tower manufacturing is a prerequisite for the accurate installation of the first section of the tower. In order to accurately pass through the anchor rods during the installation of the anchor rods, the horizontal deviation of the 166 anchor rods was controlled within 2 mm, and the verticality reached 1 slash 4000. There are two layers of circular holes in the first segment of the steel tower. The minimum hole diameter is 160 mm. The steel tower circular holes are precision processed in the factory to ensure that the 140 mm anchor screw head accurately passes through the two layer steel plate circular holes. After installation, it was measured that the maximum deviation of the axis was 2 mm and the maximum deviation of the elevation was 1.5 mm. The foundation construction of the nanmating ground connection wall is another big challenge for the construction of the bridge. The anchorage serves as the large weight for the suspension bridge to steady the horse's steps and plays the role of anchoring the entire main cable. Construction is of vital importance. However, it is a big problem to meet the flood control requirements of the Yangtze River Waterway, which prohibits the installation of large-scale anchorage structures and to build them on the tofu-like soft soil foundation. The south anchorage wall of the South Channel Bridge is 110.05 meters long, 75.05 meters wide and 83 meters deep, which is equivalent to the size of 20 basketball courts and 28 stories high. It is the world's largest continuous wall anchorage foundation. The anchor required 550,000 cubic meters of concrete and more than 58,000 tons of steel, which is more than eight Eiffel Towers. Due to its large size, deep depth, high precision and new techniques, it exceeds the existing construction specifications and many techniques are unprecedented. In order to ensure that the anchorage pulls up the weight of the entire bridge while the footwall is stable, a huge underground castle was built on the Zhang Jingao Yangtze River Bridge. The first support to structure composite floor to wall anchorage foundation. 47 rectangular mouth characters are used to form numerous small ground connected walls that are not connected to each other but are intertwined and interconnected, forming a multiple cabin structure of the caisson. Then, the retaining walls are poured with concrete to connect them as a whole, forming a giant honeycomb-shaped underground castle. Chinese experts described that the ultra-deep ground connection wall of the South Anchorage requires that the verticality of the groove must be controlled within 1 slash 800. In other words, a rectangular pit 1.5 meters wide, 4 to 15 meters long, and 83 meters deep needs to be dug underground with an upper and lower error of no more than 10 centimeters. The difficulty is like using a large device on the top of a 30-story building to easily grab a coin on the ground. What's even more difficult is that all of this work is done underground. Once a segment gets stuck, it is like a domino and subsequent processes cannot advance. Fortunately, at the end of 2023, the last groove section of the anchorage wall of the Zhang Jingao Yangtze River Bridge was successfully sealed and concreted. The ground connection wall foundation construction of the entire bridge section has been completed, 
marking that the world's most difficult and complex ground connection wall foundation construction difficulty has been successfully overcome. It is understood that the Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge is expected to be completed in October 2028. By then, it will only take four minutes to reach Nantung from Suzhou, making travel between the north and the south of the Yangtze River more convenient. From the perspective of transportation, the construction of the Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge will help optimize the layout of the Yangtze River main line crossing the river, improve the regional transportation network, effectively improve the ability to quickly cross the river, and deeply solve the dilemma of Nantung is blocked from the south. Previously, Nantung, located on the northern flank of the Yangtze River Delta, had obvious location advantages as it was near the river, sea, and Shanghai. However, due to the natural chasm of the Yangtze River, Nantung's south barrier has become a pain point and blockage affecting economic and social development. From Nantung to Suzhou, the most convenient way at the moment is to take the Sutong Bridge and the Hu Sutong Yangtze River Bridge. In the future, the Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge will serve as the most convenient passage between Zhangjiagang and Rugeo and will effectively alleviate congestion on the Sutong Bridge, the Hu Sutong Yangtze River Bridge, and the Jiangin Yangtze River Bridge. Public data shows that in 2023, investment in Nantung's transportation construction will reach 41 billion yuan, with the total amount exceeding 40 billion yuan for the first time, exceeding one-seventh of the total annual investment in Jiangsu province. It is obvious that Nantung regards transportation as the second line of economic development. Transportation is an important infrastructure. Improving transportation facilities has a positive impact on improving the business environment and will also help increase investor confidence. Southern Jiangsu, such as Suzhou and Wuxi, are undergoing rapid transformation and upgrading. By improving transportation, Jiangsu can accelerate economic ties between the north and the south and promote industrial transfer and cooperative development. Major infrastructure projects often have strong spillover effects. The total investment of the Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge is 31.167 billion yuan. While driving the development of related industries, the construction of the bridge will also have a certain driving effect on the local economy. As a bridge of science and technology and a bridge of innovation, the Zhangjingo Yangtze River Bridge continues to make breakthroughs in new structures and new technologies filling many technological gaps at home and abroad. It demonstrates made in China intelligently and created in China around the world and greatly enhances the global influence of China's bridge brand. As a cross-river channel project promoted during China's 14th five-year plan period, the construction of the Zhangjingo Bridge will be of great significance to the implementation of the national strategy for the integrated development of the Yangtze River Delta region and the development of the Yangtze River Economic Belt, and to the improvement of the regional road network layout. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.